In this lesson, we're going to revise the power of a quotient law. Right, the power of a quotient is equal to the power of each factor in the numerator and denominator raised individually to an exponent outside the bracket. Just like the power of a product law, we are distributing the exponent outside the brackets into the word, into the numerator and the denominator. So like in this case, we have x over y to the power a. We are raising x to the power a and raising y to the power a. Then it becomes x to the power a over y to the power a. Right, let's look at these examples. We are simplifying the first one a, 8 over 27 to the power 2 over 3. We can write 8 as a product of its prime factors. And also do the same with 27. So 8 is 2 to the power 3. Then 27 is 3 to the power 3. All this raised to the power 2 over 3. So now we're distributing the exponent 2 over 3. So it becomes 2 to the power 3 times 2 over 3. Over 3 to the power 3 times 2 over 3. Right, 3 times 2 over 3, that is 2, because 3 into 3 is 1. And then 3 times 2 over 3 here also is 2, because 3 into 3 is 1. So the answer is 4 over 9. Right, we do B. So we have 2x cubed over 3y to the power 5 to the power 2. So we're distributing this exponent 2 to each factor in the numerator and to each factor in the denominator. So it's going to be 2 to the power 2, x cubed to the power 2, 3 to the power 2, y to the power 5 to the power 2. So it becomes 2 to the power 2, and then x cubed to the power 2 over 3 to the power 2, y to the power 5 to the power 2. Right, 2 to the power 2, that is 4. And then here we're raising a power to a power. So we multiply the exponents. x to the power 6 over 3 squared is 9. Then here we're raising a power to a power. So we multiply the exponents, which is y to the power 10. And then c, we have 0, 0,25 x to the power 6, y to the power 4, to the power 1 over 2. So we can start by simplifying what is inside the bracket. Or how can we do that? We can write this as a fraction. This is like 25 over 100. Then x to the power 6, y to the power 4, to the power 1 over 2. Then 25 over 100 reduces to 1 over 4, 1 over 4, x to the power 6, y to the power 4, all this to the power half. Then 1 over 4 is like 1 over 2 squared. 1 over 2 squared, then x to the power 6, y to the power 4, then all this to the power 1 over 2. This can be written like this. This one can be written like x to the power 6, y to the power 4, over 2 squared, isn't it? And then to the power 1 over 2 can write like that and then you can easily distribute your exponent there so it becomes x to the power 6 times 1 over 2 y to the power 4 times 1 over 2 all this over 2 squared to the power 1 over 2 and then 6 times 1 over 2 that will give us 3 so it becomes x to the power 3 then or to the power 1 over 2, that will give us 2, so that is y to the power 2. Then raising a power to a power here, 2 times half is 1, so it becomes just 2 there. That's the answer.